Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. Today I was looking at a video, a video of Joel Telling. We all know him, don't you? And well, if you don't, then please check his channel. It's, it's a great channel. Um, he is the 3D printing nerd and he made a great video about bridging with his G-Create GMAX 1.5 XT. And uh, this is a very large printer, it's also a very expensive printer, but it's a very good printer and we all know that. And I think it's, it's well, maybe his most beloved printer he has. Um, and he was making a bridge uh, that is uh, between two sockets a layer that is uh, not supported by any means so it has to be drawn all the way over those two sockets and uh, well he made a very big bridge uh, he said it was 200 millimeters well in fact it was a little bit shorter uh, but that is because the whole object was 200 millimeters so uh, you have to uh, to, to calculate how how long it really is because I think uh, those pilers they were about one one centimeter uh, in size so uh, I think the bridge was probably 18 centimeters long um, so I was thinking to myself well his very expensive printer can do that but how about a well a DaVinci Pro printer how about a pretty cheap printer uh, it's only seven hundred dollars and uh, well it, it uses great uh, PLA so well I was thinking to myself can I make that bridge as well and here it is so I've made this bridge and I'm uh, I'm pretty happy about it uh, it's not completely perfect although uh, there is uh, some problems here with, with uh, a few lines that didn't go well um, I have to, to dial in my settings this is my very first attempt to print such a big bridge uh, it has got letters on it it says OK I hope the printer can see it well here it is it says OK so um, I made this on my DaVinci Pro printer and let's take a look on how I made this because it was really fun to do. Now, what did I use for settings? Well, the exact same settings Joe Telling used. Uh, I looked through his settings uh, on his machine uh, as he showed them on his video. The link is in the description down below. And, uh, well, I took the same settings and uh, I took my printer for it. And I started creating. And I think I have to dial in some settings for my printer a little bit better. Also note that on the DaVinci Pro it's not possible to change your, uh, your, your uh, cooling fans that blow on the PLA. Uh, in fact, there are on a normal DaVinci Pro no cooling fans to blow on your PLA. Uh, mine is a little bit uh, rebuilt and I made my own cooling fans. You can find them on my Tinkyverse uh, page and the links also in the description down below. Uh, there I have some cooling fans that I created for my printer and I think this print is impossible to do if you don't have any cooling fans. So, uh, but, but only, the, yeah, the, the problem is my cooling fans are on or off. I can't change them in speed, I can't change uh, during the print how hard they will blow. So, well, that was it. Um, if you liked this video, it was my very quick response on Joe Telling's video. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, please support my channel by subscribing to it and also hit that bell button because if you uh, will be notified of every video I make you have to hit that bell button 
you can support this channel financially if you want to. Uh, you can do so by becoming a Patreon or by giving me a one-time donation. And also for this, the links are in the description down below. And I want to thank Joel Telling because he made this awesome thing uh, on his channel. And uh, well, it, it's a great bridging test uh, which is made by a user called... Uh, the user is called Fomestein and also this link will be in the description down below uh, he is the one who made this bridge uh, but well Joel Telling used it on his G-Create and uh, <laughs> I did it on my DaVinci Pro and I'm very proud of it see you guys bye bye